Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey everyone, welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the Access of Trade uh, Thursday update. Thursday already, good. One more day in the week. We're almost made it through. Tank almost on empty. Brain as usual fried for a long trading week. Got one more day in us and hopefully uh, tomorrow we'll get some pretty good value. So hopefully everybody had a, a good trading day. So let's kind of rewind, um, you know, 24 hours ago, okay? Uh, came in sell biased. Um, did a very, very prudent thing, kind of, you know, let the market come to us. A couple of scalps, this, that, and the third. Uh, going into today's session, I was, uh, you know, very bullish, you know, in incredibly bullish. Um, I thought if everything played out today, I thought we didn't need to be very creative going into today's trading day. Uh, we had a lot of value, okay? Uh, if, and we'll talk about the pivots in a second. Usually when... I'm putting in the pivot feed in the morning and it's dominated by uh, Apple and NVIDIA and Amazon and Facebook and so forth and so on. You know it's going to be a value day. The days that uh, I'm putting in, you know, stocks like Lowe's and there's nothing wrong with Lowe's, Home Depot, Target, you know, like names that, you know, names that I, I just don't trade. You know, uh, this session is going to lack a certain amount of value, uh, especially at the open. And it, again, what it really does prove that you don't need to trade every single day like it's your last. And yesterday's session proved it. Again, I waited for my, um, you know, I waited for my, um, uh, my thesis to play out. It didn't play out. Um, I took the other side of the market, scalped some things yesterday, and we waited for value today. And the only difference between yesterday's session versus today's session was new day, same process. Our convictions today played out the way we thought and so forth and so on, moving on to the next day. And it really does prove, especially for the newer traders, is you don't need to get frustrated every single day when, you're, uh, when your process is not being spylighted, okay? You, you know, you can look at the indexes and it doesn't make a difference if, if the Dow is up 2,000 points, but your specific way of trading is just not being set in the spotlight. And the faster you acknowledge that this is a very, very bad way uh, to kind of navigate the markets with, you know, when, when we talked about the D and C and B level setups, eventually you're going to stop with the FOMO. Okay, the FOMO doesn't go away. It will never go away. We're human beings. We're not robots. We're not black boxes and gray boxes and quant models. We're human beings. So we are going to make at times rational decisions. So FOMO will always be there. But again, the longer you trade, the you know the, the the sooner you will find yourself in a situation and say, you know what, I don't want FOMO. I have JOMO, which basically means it's the joy of missing out. So next time you see yourself and you find yourself in a situation that everything exploding or everything is imploding, depending you know how you trade, but nothing is playing out and nothing is falling into your sweet spot. Again, you don't need to pout. Uh, you don't need to be disgruntled. You don't need to go into depression. Not there's no one trading day that's ever going to make your career. But again, if you trade uh, with irresponsible, irrational behavior and settle, right, and settle and prostitute your money, and I've used that terminology many of times. If you find yourself prostituting money enough, eventually your money will go somewhere else. Okay. And the last thing we want to do, you know, no matter how you trade, no matter uh, what your account size is or your experience level, it's okay to lose money. Okay. Um, but you don't want to give away your money. And when you're trading a less than value session, you're going to run into a situation that you're pressing because the market's open. Okay. Not because you're getting value. You're pressing because the market's open and you're trying to play catch up. And the, the problem is you can't play catch up with C, B and D level setups. And unfortunately, many traders again will burn out. And there's so many ways that new traders will go on tilt before they recognize their potential or achieve their potential. And what we have to always understand as human beings, we're going to make mistakes, okay? We're going to lose money. We're going to be wrong. But the one thing that we can control is our ability to kind of look at the market from a rational point of view, from an adult point of view. I emphasize being adult. I think it's an incredibly uh, important part of trading, kind of understanding uh, where the nuances, the you know the, the 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 breakdown of the market is around you, 
and kind of playing, you know, playing your hand that you're dealt. And if you're getting a good hand, absolutely. Like this morning, uh, we had crazy value, okay? Incredible value in beta. We'll talk about the pivots in a second. Yesterday, we did not get that value because I was 100% sell bias. Uh, nothing confirmed to the downside, and we had to put ourselves in a situation to either, you know, play the less advantageous hand or kind of sit it out. I played the less advantageous hand, caught some scalps yesterday, but again, it bought me some time for a better value day. So if you look at the tape today, again, nothing is going to really stick out. The Dow was down 80 points. Uh, the Nasdaq Composite was up 20. So nothing is really going to stand out. Um, you know, that you could turn around and say, well, this is a definitive stand going to tomorrow's session. I, I think, again, uh, the longer we build above this rising wedge, the longer, the stronger the action is. Now, again, can there be a rotation tomorrow? Again, technology has had really, really big runs, uh, especially in the last three days off the lows. You can see it, Q's went uh, from 264 all the way to 274. You had a 10 point move in the Q's in uh, three trading sessions. So again, can they be tired tomorrow? As you can see, this little mini double top. So can they be tired tomorrow? Can you get a gap in crap in a lot of names? You absolutely can. I, I want to keep that uh, in the back of my mind. I want to look at the stocks that you know didn't quite rally today or just look like they were exhausted today. Uh, and I kind of want to watch them tomorrow for maybe opening range lows to see if there's any type of cash flow. Again, nothing to the point of, you know, having the stocks go to hell in a handbasket. We're just trying to kind of identify towards the end of the week, try to get some value towards the end of the week. And, you know, when I did my watch list today, there isn't that, you know, 500 star play for tomorrow. Like when I did my watch list for tonight, uh, we had the NVIDIAs, we had the Apples, we had the Amazons, uh, you know, um, uh, so all these plays. Tonight, it's kind of different, okay? So tomorrow we're gonna have to be a little bit more creative, um, we're going to have to kind of look at names that maybe traditionally we don't trade. Um, to the downside, I will be looking for weakness, so maybe opening range plays just for some cash flow. Uh, but the most important part is, again, I'll always look at trading as like running a business, okay? You, you know, your, your restaurant, for example, perfect example, your restaurant usually will have its premium days Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, Okay you're not gonna get the same amount of volume or the same amount of patrons coming in Monday or Tuesday. So you have to kind of curb your enthusiasm. You have to kind of curb your expect expectations of what happens tomorrow. So today was a, a very, very aggressive premium day. Maybe tomorrow we'll get some non-conventional plays, uh, some non-beta names, especially to the long side. But again, we have to kind of play what the market gives us. And again, we had 24 hours of completely opposite of trading sessions. Yesterday was not what I wanted because again, my, my, uh, my thesis did not play out. Today, I got exactly what I wanted and the thesis played out. So again, Learn to drive in different speeds. I've said this example numerous times. Again, you could be driving a, a $2.5 million Bugatti in the middle of Times Square, but I promise you during rush hour, when COVID's not here, I promise you, I don't care how great your performance vehicle is, you're not gonna go anywhere. So learn how to stop, learn how to get aggressive, learn how to get more passive, learn how to get more defensive, learn how to give a longer lease, a shorter leash. These are all components and thousands of other moving parts as you start developing as a trader and you're getting more and more years uh, into this game. And again, will FOMO go away? Absolutely not, okay? Uh, again, I find myself once a month, twice a month, uh, you know, putting on a trade and like saying, what the hell was I thinking? You know, like what, what was what was going through my head when I, you know, when I chased this extend, extended move, when I didn't wait for the second entry, when I didn't uh, enter the trade because I had more value, uh, more value at a lower tier. So I chased it up. So all these things will continuously happen to you. Okay. But we could control it. Okay. We'll never go away, but we could control it. So again, when you get a, a, a trading day, that's just not falling into your sweet spot, guys, just move a Side, when you have a trading day that's very, very aggressive uh, and it's about to be in your sweet spot, that's when you put on the pedal, that's when you get aggressive and attack with extreme prejudice. So going into tomorrow, you know, I'm 50-50. It's going to sound weird when I'm about to say this, but I'm 50-50 bye-byes tomorrow. Just because, again, we're above this range here. Uh, a little double tops, maybe on beta, uh, maybe some sell side buys to beta names. Uh, you know, kind of delta neutral going into tomorrow. Um, you know, the Qs 
big, big run, need a little bit of rest. I could definitely see a back test. Nothing aggressive, but I could definitely see a back test. So I will be looking for the weaker beta names in the morning. Stocks that really didn't rally today or participate, uh, like you had Alibaba. And, you know, again, it had a chance to really break out, and it didn't. Uh, you had Roku today, had a really, really, you know, big chance to really, you know, seize control of this area, and it didn't. So you can see these two channels here. I'll be watching that as well. Uh, Boeing, right? Boeing, again, didn't really rally today. You know, didn't rally. Is looking like crap again, right? Looking like crap again. So again, I'm going to watch that as well. So again, I don't want to reinvent the wheel, uh, especially the last trading day of, uh, of the week. Again, I'm going to take it nice and calm. There's no stress. There's no rush. There's no points, right? You don't get points of how many positions you put on. It's not... You know, it's not a matter of how many trades you put on, it's how many trades you put on properly. So uh, let's talk about the pivots for today. Um, you know, good stuff. I mean, really, really good stuff right at the open. Again, if you notice, uh, everything we had today was beta, okay? Uh, literally beta. There was nothing, uh, there was nothing, excuse me, there was one other, uh, other position, uh, SFIX, uh, that I scalped a little bit of it. Um, but again, it was all pivots to the upside, okay? For the exception of one too low that obviously never came close to the triggering. I really, really like the action. Um, I really like the setups. Uh, I thought the aggression levels were pretty good. Uh, I thought the measured potential, a lot of these trades were very, very good. And it turned out to be a pretty solid day. So uh, let's talk about this. Uh, 457.75, 458. Uh, this was definitely my biggest, uh, my, my biggest move of the day. Uh, Apple, you know, just exploded, just went absolutely nuts. Um, you know, so here was the, you know, here was the pivot right here. Here, right so here is the pivot right over here it took out this whole channel here and just absolutely exploded uh, big big move on Apple uh, Alibaba again this is where I was kind of disappointed on I, I really like this 257 level and it never it just it just never got there right I really like this setup here it was it, lo it was looking so good pre-market right this is kind of what I was looking at pre-market if it would have just confirmed this 257 level I think it would have gone but again if my grandmother had my you know she'd be my grandfather so if, if, if doesn't kind of uh, get it done, but nevertheless, so I kind of like it to the downside. We'll see. You know, we'll see what happens there tomorrow. Uh, I caught Amazon pretty well. Uh, 3185 needs to build. Uh, we started seeing some pretty good. Uh, we started seeing some pretty good call buying coming in. They were coming in with the 3200 calls, the 3300 calls, very, very aggressive. So here is the 3185 right here. 3185 went right to supply. I uh, put in a high move. It went to as high as the 3217. Really, you know, pretty good move, man. I was pretty happy about that uh, as well. Uh, NVIDIA just exploded. Uh, 46250, 463 needs to build. Uh, here was NVIDIA, right? So here was, again, this whole channel here, 46250, 463 just exploded, absolutely exploded, went to almost 469. Uh, very, very big move. Uh, Netflix, uh, not a big move, but you know, it, it did okay. Uh, I think it, it, it went during lunchtime. I wasn't around for the Netflix pivot. Uh, 482.50, 483.00 needs to build. And here was Netflix, not a big move at all. So here's the 482.50, 83. Uh, went to like, you know, ran, ran up like a dollar and change. Nothing big there before it kind of rolled over. Uh, too low, never got down to the 240. Uh, shop, oh, shop put up a nice little move here. Uh, 1009, 1010 needs to build. Uh, here was shop, right? So here was shop right here, 1009, 1010, one right to supply of 1025. So that was fine as well. Uh, Peloton never got down to the 61 area. And then again, it just, it was a huge opening. Again, it, 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 you know, if you look, you know, if you look at the amount of pivots versus the value pivots, right? You didn't have one of those days with 25 pivots. I, I'm sure I could have fought, I, I could have found 25 pivots, but again, it's the beta names. There's only like 10 of them. Okay. Uh, so it, it's not really a hard crowd uh, to, to find. It's the same names over and over again. You can see here, I put literally one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, not Peloton's not eight, but literally I put seven out of the 10, 12 uh, pivots for beta. So a really good solid session. Very uh, pleased, especially yesterday's, uh, especially yesterday's um, kind of lack of value. Uh, so sometimes when you um, you know, you're disciplined enough. We talked about the personal growth year in, year after year, kind of not trade when you don't need to. But the moral of the story is today we got value. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Maybe it will be a value day. Maybe we'll be surprised. But the most important part is uh, no expectations, right? No emotions equals no disappointments. Guys, have a great night, everybody. Love you all. And God's help. I'll see you tomorrow. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire.
Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.